We are ready for the finals of the pit stop competition ahead of the 99th Indianapolis 500 and it's Ganassi versus Penske that seems appropriate. It's the fifth straight year a Chip Ganassi racing team has competed in the finals. They've won two of those. And for Team Penske, the last seven times they've advanced to the finals, they've won the pit stop competition. Well, I think this is going to be a uh, tough race for them to win. We've seen only Will Powers won from the outside lane. Castro Neves has got the outside lane. I think that's his first time in this lane. Uh, Kimball has been spot on every pit every pit stop. He's just gotten better and better. So uh, this could this is a battle of the giants right here between Penske and Ganassi, and uh, it's going to be a good one. And Kimball's crew has been a little bit quicker here so far today, and he has the lane choice because he was faster in the semifinals. Just like drag racing, this is theoretically it's like drag racing. You run the faster ET, and you get the choice of the lane and obviously you know the inside lane has been the quicker one so far charlie dodged one you see that round one time wasn't that impressive but it was still good enough to beat takuma sato by about six tenths of a second so charlie kimball trying to give the 83 team a little bit of a kick start to the 500 weekend and elio trying to win this event for the seventh time and let everybody on the team split up 50 grand And Elio, whether it's the 500 or the pit stop competition or a bicycle race, you know if he wins it, he's going to celebrate. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Elio is locked in and ready. Same for Charlie Kimball. We're about ready for the finals of the pit stop competition. Eyes back to the race course. It's time for a championship showdown. This is the run to determine the winner. Presenting Chip Ganassi Racing's Charlie Kimball, Josh Jung, Mark Sampson, Kyle Sagan, Steve Namaznak, Rick Pearson, and Pat Nelson. Give it up for Ganassi Racing and Charlie Kimball. And now a six-time winner, Elio Castaneves. With Team Penske after their 15th win, it's Travis Law, Joel Stenson, Keenan Watson, Trevor Lacoste, Patrick Stewart, and Gary Yanks. The championship run is right here now to determine the champion for the 2015 Tag Heuer Pit Stop Challenge. Three ready? Three ready. Good luck, gentlemen. Paul Blevin has readied the pair. Castro Debes in the Shell V Power Nitro Team Penske Chevy. Chevy power for Charlie Kimball in the 83 Novo Nordisk. He leaves abruptly and a little bit premature. We'll see if there's a penalty. They get to the box at about the same time. Castro Neves on the outside. Stop looks clean for him so far. Same for Charlie Kimball. Elio is wow. going to just beat him off the box. And for the seventh time, Elio Castro Neves is the pit stop competition champion. And Team it, Penske wins for a 15th time. It didn't even matter that Kimball got to the box first. He took off and jumped the start, which was could be a penalty anyway. But that Penske team was, had a flawless stop, and he won the, won the race from the outside line which nobody has been doing that and is this an omen for sunday and let the celebration begin let's hear from the captain robin all right roger it was a ganassi party and qualifying they won the pole but it's a good way of getting back well i think uh, there's three races here i think it's the pole and the pit stop contest but uh, great run by the guys and charlie did a terrific job coming up through the field but uh, what a great crowd here today. This is what we like to feel here in Indianapolis, and we're just glad to be here, and this is a lot of fun, and guess what? We won the piss off contest. Guess what? You're in uh, pretty good shape for 70 year old You're jumping around for a 78-year-old like kind of you're a kid again. Well, listen, you, when you're here, you got to be ready. All right. Roger Penske wins the pit stop competition. We'll see what happens Sunday, boys. Yeah, Roger Penske's got more energy than most of us. You go to the hotel in the morning, you're often going to find Roger on the treadmill. And this is what he gears up his whole season every year after year after year. Uh, this is the event for him. This is what he loves, the Indianapolis 500. And they've started off the weekend with, a, with another great, great win. So will he climb the fence? He's done this before after winning this event. 
There aren't as many fences handy. We don't see one nearby. He was likely looking. Elio's fired up. He's going to start fifth in the 500 on Sunday, looking for his fourth win. There's the boss. And Kelly's in there. Oh, he's been making the rounds. You can imagine the excitement down here for lucky number win number seven for Elio Castroneves. What, wow. How cool is it to literally pay these guys back for all the work they do over, ah, over the course of the year? This is just perfect. I mean, exactly. You're right. I mean, we started the month great. We had a little bit blip on the radar with that accident going up and uh, back on track. The Shelby Power Nitro Plus car was unbelievable. And these guys, it's unbelievable. For us, it's the nerve-wracking because you don't want to screw up, you know, and that was special in the right lane, which is less, it's a little more slippery, so great job. You guys are the best. I can't believe it. Just a great effort from Team Penske. Twice you've won this pit competition and gone on to win the Indy 500. Paul Tracy asked, is this an omen for Sunday? I tell you what, I believe in any omen right now, and if that's what it takes it, well, I'll believe it. But right at this point, it's just great fantastic effort from the Shelby Power Nitro Plus boys. Good job, everyone. Woo! And we're going to show your last, your last stop because you said you were very consistent through the first two. You improved on your time a little bit when it counted most. What were you thinking on this last run? Well, since we're on the right lane this time with the less concrete, so to be honest, it was actually perfect because as soon as the brake, it kind of slide. So I didn't actually have to, like, judge in the braking. It was just perfect. And on the exit, I'm just trying to make sure I don't rule spin a lot. Man, actually, I, these boys are unbelievable. Look at that, how fast they are. This is great. Great job, everyone. An impressive win number seven for Elio Castroneves and Team Penske. A half a second better than Charlie Kimball, even though Kimball was able to beat Elio into the box, but the three team got it done. And as Kelly mentioned, he's won the race after winning the pit stop competition, and he's the only one in the field this year that's done that. The pit stop challenge is hardly a guarantee of success. In 37 previous competitions, only six winners have gone on to win the 500, but they include Elio Castroneves in 2002 and 2009. Well, the day continues, but we're far from done here on NBCSN. The NASCAR America Motorsports Specialist coming up in a few minutes. Stay with us from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway.